Stella Gage to make room for your sit bones. And just relax. Your feet, your legs may be crisscross. It can be a different position. I want you to do what feels good to you. And if it doesn't feel right or it hurts, please don't do it. Come out of it. It doesn't hurt it. So let's have fun with this. And let's just take a big inhale, fingertip overhead. Maybe a slight back bend. Bring your hands towards each other, your palms maybe touching, maybe near. Anything that's comfy and exhale the shoulder down and then your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale and exhale your hand down. Now anytime you need to take an extra breath or your breath don't match mine, use your breath, breathe in between the cute breath. If we're going down, I say exhale and we're there for a while. Please breathe before we inhale back up. So as long as you remember to breathe and don't hold your breath, that's what's important. So let's have fun here. So let's bring our hands in zombie. Maybe bringing our fingers and interlacing them. And just reverse, bring your palms towards me. And reach, reach, reach with your hand. Big yawn, big inhale, exhale. Bring your, bring your belly button towards your spine, maybe rounding the back. And inhale, straightening the back, letting go star. And inhale, then back in zombie. Maybe the fingertip clasp. Exhale, bring your arms away. And belly button comes towards your spine. Look towards your belly button, your chest. Round your back nicely. Inhale. Let's open our arm for a seated cow and exhale in a seated cat. So you can make this as big or as little as you want. You can just keep your hands on your lap, the ground, exhaling by bringing the belly button towards your spine and inhaling your belly button draws forward. Now I'm also opening the hands. And or you can really get involved, like give yourself a nice hug on the exhale. Inhale, embrace the world. Exhale, take it all in, take all the goods in. Inhale, belly button towards the camp, chest towards the camp. Arch your back nicely. Exhale again, this time give yourself a hug. Nice big hug. Breathe, breathe. Maybe a little body, baby body to side to side. Inhale back, release the arm. Maybe on the other side you want to match it. If it's not something you do all the time, you don't have to reverse. You don't have to do the other side on simple movement. If you did that every day, yes, it's better balancing it, of course. And exhale. Hand comes to your legs, anywhere comfortable. Inhale the nose up, but not too back. Just be careful. Bring the chin a little closer to the chest here. And exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale back up, maybe looking at the, the seam between the ceiling and the, and the wall. Exhale down. Inhale, center. Exhale, ear to one, the same side, shoulder. And maybe looking up a little bit if it opens you. Make sure it feels good though. If it doesn't, come out of it a little bit. Inhale, straight. Exhale, ear to shoulder. And this is when I want you to breathe. Keep on breathing because we're staying there for a little moment, right? Inhale your head back. Exhale, soften. Just look at your feet and keep rounding your back. Now inhale your fingers and forward just a little bit. And exhale, plant your hands down. 
maybe round your back even more, looking at you towards your feet. Inhale your hands a little bit further. You can also stay exactly where you are. Exhale down. Now see if it wants to stay there. If it's, you're not sure if you want to be there, come back out and love it a little bit. Otherwise, keep going very slowly. And with your inhale, just add a little length. And with your exhale, lower down a little. Your forearms should be about parallel with each other. So make sure you don't have your elbows out here. And you can stay exactly where you are. And on your next inhale, press into the ground, lift your elbows, and start bringing your hands towards you. Here we go. Now, however seated position you have, change it. Maybe just change side with your leg. Uh, sit on your heel. Sit in a different way, maybe tucking the toes in the back. If you were, you know, change it just, just a little bit for fun. And let's inhale the arms up, bring our thumb down, exhale the arm away, the palms go away from you, come towards the back, maybe the finger clasp, maybe they don't. You can keep your hands towards each other here. Inhale through the chest, go stall, exhale, look at your belly button, round, round your back, maybe the arm come back up. Maybe not. The head can be on a block. You can put the crown of your head on the mat. Don't put your weight on your hand. I'm like pressing into my thigh right now to make sure my head has no weight um, on it. And on your next inhale, just slip back up as if somebody's pulling on your hands and say, hey, come back up here. He's not yanking. They just pull it gently where, where your body wants to go. So let's do that again. Maybe a little shoulder roll in between, right? A little self-fog if it feels nice. Neck is very relaxed here. And again, bring your hands towards each other. Maybe they clasp. You don't have to lift them. They can just hang there too. Inhale, tall. Exhale, look at your belly button, curve, 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 and then inhale a little land, just like we did before. Exhale the head down, don't put your weight there, and maybe inhale the arms up if they want to go. Preventing somebody's pulling a little bit gently on them, only if it feels good to your body. Then press in your leg. And from your lower spine, start climbing it up. Inhale and climb up your spine, unraveling it one vertebrate at a time. All the way up. And exhale, release the arms. Maybe a little wrist circle if it feels nice. Little uh, gentle little tugs on the wrist if you need to. We're not going to use too much uh, uh, our hands today for body weight. Just a little bit, down dog, things like that. But we're we're not we're not going to use uh, a lot of our hands. They're going to be more like decorative. But so let's keep on having fun here. And before we come back up, because the rest of the class will be standing, let's stay down just for one more little flow, just for fun. So again. Sit different way than you were. I, I like crisscross because we're going to do big body circle. Maybe they'll be small too. So go with what your body wants right now. Not what it was able to do yesterday or what you want it to be or what that one over there can do. This is you, your body. Make it feel good. You don't want to force it ever, ever. Okay? So let's exhale like we did before, but then shift to one side. And the other. And then little circles. See how it goes. Make them small first. 
maybe a couple of times each side. If, if it doesn't work for you, it's too big, make it even smaller. Or just add to it. Make them huge, as big as you want, so you can involve your body. You can express yourself with your arms if you want to add that in there. Little motion, add a little freelance. I just like whatever, a little extra you can do with your spine that would feel nice right now. Just be very mindful of your movement before you do them. You want to stay safe all the time, right? And let's plant our hands to the side. Lift your bum, come to your fours. Now, let's see now our fingertip forward or our hands forward. And while we're there, inner spiral your forearm. Just make the nook of your shoulder face the other, if that works for you. Except, except the chest down a little bit. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Now, press in the ground. And then tuck your toes. And exhale, lift your knees, bring your bum up and back for down dog. Now you can look forward, you can keep your knees down here, or you can bend your knee, keep them bent as much as you want. So wherever you happen to be, let's exhale your knees down, maybe halfway from, from where you were to the mat, until the legs, the legs are about parallel with the floor. Now press in your hand, exhale your bum up as you press with your hand and inhale it all the way up. Relax, neck is relaxed. So if you're staring at your feet, maybe bring your gaze towards the middle of your mat or wherever it's comfy on your neck, right? Exhale the knees towards the mat, slow, slow. And get your legs towards each other a little bit here. Now round the lower spine once you're almost down, round it, then inhale, now bring the bum up and exhale the chest down a little, neck is very relaxed, now let's walk that dog, bring one knee almost to the ground, keep pressing in your hand, other heel is like going towards and towards the ground and switch. The other heel's coming down as the other one rises. And you can shift your hips a little bit in there if it feels good. You can add a little more speed to do what feels nice to you. And exhale, bend the knees and start walking or jump to the front of your mat. Place your feet in Tadasana while you're down here. So look at the outer part of your foot. And try to line it up with the side of your mat. So basically you're lining the outer part of your feet with each other. So big toe is slightly in when you do that, but it lines you up. Let's make sure your, your ankles are under your hips. So big inhale up, press, press in your leg, engage your leg towards each other. Reverse one dive, let's come up. Hands up. We're standing up with our fingertip up, adding a slight black band, and exhale the arms down. Now look at your feet. Try to look for your little bone, your little hip bone that's sticking right up front. And that's the width that you're, you want your ankle to be. So adjust that. Or you may want to be a traditional uh, tadasana and have your big toe touching with your heel slightly kicked out and that's good too. So inhale, fingertip up, exhale, forward fold. Now grab doll from the hip down. Everything is just gravity. Your head's making baby circle by itself. So are your arms. You have the option here to bring your hands to your elbow and weight yourself down a little bit. Or bring your hands behind your legs. Bend your knees as much as it feels good. And if you want your legs straight, that's cool, but keep a micro bend in the, in the joint all the time. The, the elbows, the knees. 
Now let's place our hands above or below the knee with the elbow in. Inhale, flat back. On your next exhale, soften down, release the hands towards the ground, bend the knee, catch the ground. Inhale, one foot back. Option to drop the knee down. Exhale, the other foot back. You can put the knee down. Option to go straight in child pose or down dog or chaturanga to cobra. Elbows are in, right? Tuck the toes. Press in your hand. Inhale up your pelvis right up the floor. Knees if, they're, if they are down, bring them up. And exhale, press in your hands down dog. And feel free to walk that dog if that's what you want, a little movement. It's morning here, but if it's night for you, maybe you just want to stay still. Whatever you, whatever, if you have a little extra energy and you need to put it somewhere, you can walk that dog, especially if it feels good at the calf, right? And exhale, then knee towards the mat. Look forward. And let's start walking. Exhale, but take as many breaths as you want to get there if you're taking your time. Taking your time is awesome, you know. The longer it takes you to get there, the more you benefit. If it's something good, if it stress you out, just get there, jump or something. And pressing your feet, big inhale up. Hands towards each other or toe together and exhale them to your heart. So one more time. Big inhale up, baby back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Hang out there like a rag doll. Take any position that feels good to you. But make sure your head and your shoulders are very relaxed. Press into your feet. And then engage your legs towards each other. Place your hand above or below the knee. Elbows are in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bring your elbows towards your hip. Freeing the neck, the head. And exhale, next exhale, come all the way down. Plant your hands. Inhale, one foot back. Option to drop the knee. Exhale, the other foot back. And here you can go straight to child pose or down dog. Or you can chaturanga to cobra. My chest is the last thing to hit the ground. Don't bring it straight down. Inhale up, cobra. Tuck your toes. And exhale, lift your bum and bring them away. Sinking the chest down. Maybe walking the dog, maybe not. Make sure your, your neck is in a position that's comfortable. Sometimes we're just like, we're not very far, just a little thing, you know, from being comfortable. So find that or come out of it. You, you need to be comfy. Exhale, bring your knees down a little bit and start walking or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, press in your feet. Fingers and up, reach, reach, reach. Exhale to your side, Tadasana. Big inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knee, catch the ground. Inhale, one foot back. Option to exhale the knee down and then tuck the toes. Now let's check the front leg. The back one is either up. And if it's up, press the thigh, keep pressing that thigh up. Other, and if it's down, and if you have sore knee, little pillow, fold your mat. Now, but let's check that front leg. That's what's important here. You want that ankle to be right under your knee. So line that up. And if it's a little front or back, it's okay, but make sure it doesn't pass your toe. So ideally, try to line the top as much as your body allows, okay? Now you can go to your fingertip, raise a little bit. Now I'm going to just look towards my back foot. I don't need to see it. just want to turn a little bit towards it. And then my outside hand is coming inside. So do I accommodate that? 
And since it's inside, my knee's gonna press towards it, so instead of opening out, right? Now my back foot, I'm gonna just inhale it up a little bit, and exhale it just a little bit to the side, just to allow that same side dip to move out a little bit. Now bring your, inhale your arm and put it on your hip for now. Now let's check the bottom arm. Let's bring the wrist under the shoulder so everything's aligned nice. And maybe look towards your elbow, your shoulder. And maybe press, you can stay like that. And just press in your foot, press in your hand. Inhale the other arm up. Now see if everything is in place. And then if it's not, deconstruct all the little steps until you find where where the little bit is that needs to be adjusted or just skip over it. We don't need to do everything, right? We do enough just like being here. So inhale your hand up and exhale it down. Now let's straighten the back foot. So rotate, lift your foot and plant it straight. Now if anything needs to be readjust. So take your hands and then just frame your foot Looking forward, and let's inhale a little higher to the leg, pushing that foot. So, inhale, fingertip up, crescent lunge, little back bend here. And exhale, plant your hands, tuck your toe, lift your knee if it is down. Otherwise, remember which foot is back, which foot is, is forward, because we're we're not doing the other side right away, so mine is my left foot is forward, so okay. Remember that for me. <laughs> Inhale, up. Bring your foot forward and inhale up. Exhale the hands down. Now just relax the shoulders a little bit. Stay just where you are. I'm just going to turn some left. I don't have my back to you when we do the other side. Inhale, fingertip up, relax the neck. Exhale, forward fold. Let's dangle here for a while. If it feels nice to you, just dangle there for a while. I do that like in the kitchen or, or any time where I need a little break, no matter where I am, it's just like bend like that. Inhale, your hands above or below the knees. Bring your elbows towards each other and then draw them away from your ears. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend your knee, catch the ground. On your next inhale, just bring the other leg, that the, the one that was in, in the front and up in the back. Keep the thigh lifted or bring the knee down. Press into your front foot. And maybe just look around you for now. And then very slowly, maybe look at your front finger, bringing both hands inside the foot. And just look towards your elbow. Now I'm going to lift my back foot and just bring it to the side a little bit. The hand that is inside the leg, I'm just going to brace my arm against my, my knee and my knee against my arm. And just turn my hip a little bit to the side. My hand inhale to my hip. Or it can stay there or it can go up and it can curve over or be straight up wherever it's comfy. So let's line up a little bit. And exhale. If you are on your knee, just re-straighten the leg. Uh, otherwise stay the way you are. If you're on the knee and you want to come up of it, just tuck the toes and lift. See how it goes for you. Press in your front foot. The toes are facing forward. If you have a problem with your balance, you can always flip the back foot a little bit to the side and then make your stand a little wider. So press in your front foot. Inhale, crescent lounge. Sink down a little bit here. Maybe a little back bend if you want. And exhale. Now this is nice. <laughs> oh wow. Exhale. 
fell your knee down. I don't even know where I was. I don't even know if that was captured with the camera, but the things I see sometimes. <laughs> Exhale your bum back. Bring your legs around. Big inhale, press in your hand. Exhale, child pose. Let's bring your bum towards your heel. Feel free to open the knees if you want. Exhale the chest down. You can have your hand on the block on the pillow here. Maybe you can make a pillow with your hands. A unicorn, one fist over the other fist. Be comfortable and just relax. Your hands are wherever it is comfy for you right now. And inhale, press into your legs and lift your chest up. If you need to stay longer, you can always rewind or you can pause the thing. So you don't have to do the whole hour in, in one shot, or, you know, you can always do a little bit or, or skip over things that don't interest you. So let's inhale our fingertips forward as far as they comfortably go. Look in your toe. And exhale into down dog. Inhale, one foot up. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant your foot. Now the back foot is going to brace to the side. And now again, feel free to go on your knee and continue on your knee. Talking about knee or front knee is going to be right above your ankle. You're going to press on that leg and lift yourself up. Now inhale, come towards me or straighten up. The front knee is going to press towards the pinky toe. And my hips are going to try to come forwards-ish. So this is a little tricky. My back hip wants to go back. My front knee wants to go back. What's going on with, with my, uh, my front hip? It wants to go forward. That's where it's, it's going. So... Inhale the arms halfway. Option to put them on your hips for warrior two. Look at your forward towards your front fingertip if it's comfortable. Exhale the shoulder down, neck is relaxed. And just breathe here, just breathe. And if you have done fencing, I did a little fencing in college. En garde, the back arm comes around. And that's the only difference on guard with, with fencing. So let's fence. So you can have your arm, your back arm in on guard. Keep it on your, on your hip or keep it in warrior two. But this is our sword because warrior two, both of your arms are swords. So let's go on guard. Inhale, crescent lounge. This is fun. Lift the back heel. Turn your hips, square it forward like a crescent lounge. You can keep it planted like a warrior one. And now you still have your sword forward. Hold, hold your sword with your, your back hand. And then inhale, pull, pull, pull. Just go along your sword and go around. Just make sure your back shoulder is straight. Now again, you can keep your foot like that and just Exhale, your other arm forward. You can pivot the foot. And en garde. And if you want to add to this, let's lift the front heel. So inhale the front heel up. And without going too far forward with the knee, en garde. Just bring a little weight forward and press in the ball of the foot. You try not to let your knee pass your toes too much. But we're not putting weights there. We're not staying long. So... You can drop the knee, the knee. So, en garde. Inhale. Exhale back. Do it a few times. If it feels good, right? Okay, back in your classic warrior two. And exhale the arms down first because shoulders, it gets tired. Press in that front leg. Straighten the knee. Turn your toes forward. Big inhale up, exhale, bring your bum back, bend your knee lots, 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 round your back, look behind you, 
catch the ground, of course. And then continue, bring your hands towards your back foot. Now grab that back foot and make it a front foot. Turn your toes away. Then press into it. My knees right above the ankle. Press into it and come straight to your warrior two. Fun, huh? Regarde. Maybe lift the front heel. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Little calf work, little inner thigh. Keep pressing your, your knee towards the back. Plant your toes. Inhale. Come forward like a big crescent lunge. Or you can be in a warrior one. That's all good. Bring your hands in, zombie. Grab your sword and pull. Make sure the back shoulder goes back a little bit. And relax here. Relax the shoulders. Look forward. Inhale, exhale. Bring your hands to your hips if they're not already there. Breathe. Exhale, soften. Inhale, press in your front foot. Come back your feet in a wide extended, extended legs. Extended wide, wide legs. <laughs> Big inhale up, toes are forward, maybe they're out a little bit, bend the knee, exhale, Mine like, I like bringing my big toe in a little bit for more balance, press in your feet, inhale, back up, one more time, inhale, reach, 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 exhale, forward fold, and now listen, my cue, we're changing this. Bring your hands above or lower than your knees. Tuck in your shoulder. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your hands here. Inhale, flat back. Again, yeah. Engage your legs towards each other. Exhale, down. Keep them engaged. Again, inhale, flat back. See if it makes a difference. Now pull your head forward a little bit. So if you're all your weight's on your heel, balance that a little bit. Bring it a little bit forward. Bend your knees. Next inhale, just press into them. Come back up. Exhale your hands to your heart center. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Woo! And a little hula, hula dance. Feet in Tadasana, pick classic or your, your um, ankle under your hips. Big inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Just relax for a moment here. This is your little break. Bring your knees, inhale up, keep your arms down. You need to take as many breaks as you want. Go and shout pose. Pause the machine and start again. Oh my God, the machine has sound old. Now let's step wide again. You know, pretty much wide. As wide as it's comfortable. So let's line up our arch with each other. Now let's lift one heel up. Turn the ball of the foot and plant that heel and see if we can line up the heel with the center of our arch. And knee comes down, pulls forward and out until it's about above the ankle again, just like we did for warrior two. And let's, I'm gonna bring my back heel a little bit more, like my foot's more like at 35 degree than than 90 or whatever's going to be for for you, of course. So let's look forward. Let's bring our hip forward, and I'm gonna widen my stand. A little bit because I, I don't want to work on my balance right now, but if you want really to challenge yourself, bring your feet a little more together. So my knees above my ankle. And I'm bringing my hands towards each other. Inhale tall and exhale in humble warrior. So like we did earlier. And if you want, you can just rest into your leg. Why not? It's there. Relax, exhale, soften the head, soften everything, except your legs are really engaged. And if you 
want, inhale your hands up, pretending somebody's pulling them up. Nicely. Pressing the foot, inhale back up, release the hand. Now let's lift the toes, pivot our toes forward, and the other one, let's switch our feet. So our front become our back. So I'm going to readjust here. So you can have your heel in the center of your foot. But I'm going to make a little more room in mine. I want more balance right now. I'm talking to you. I'm trying to think what's going on, where we're going. And I don't want to be working on my balance. I usually do because I need ba my balance is eh. So <laughs> knee above the ankle. Good balance here. Hips forwards-ish. You can put your, your, your back foot in crescent if you want lifting the heel. Inhale your arms up, reach, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, thumbs down. Palms of the hands towards each other. They don't need to touch. You can always use a, a strap if you wish. We're not going to be there very long. Inhale, shoulder up, puff the chest. Exhale, humble warrior, maybe leaning on the front leg. And if you want, inhale your hands up a little bit. If they go, don't force them. If they don't want to go, it's, it's, it's the shoulders won't let you. There's no sense of forcing that and hurting yourself, right? And exhale, bring your hands down. You can put them on your leg if you want. Push in your foot, inhale back up. And back in star, bringing our toes towards each other. And heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. My goodness, lots of warrior and we're not done. We're going to repeat all that because it's so much fun. If you want. If not, we're just going to repeat. I'm going to add a little more technique. And I'm going to drop some stuff I already say so I don't overwhelm you with it. So come to the front of your mat here. Let's do a little hip dance. So just a couple, a couple little stretch here before we, we get going, just to make sure everything's going to be nice. Relax the neck. Inhale the fingertip up. Exhale forward fold. And just dangle there for a moment. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Pressing your feet. Inhale, just lift the body. Keep your hands down there. It's not up all the time. And exhale, one foot back. What we're we doing now? Nothing, nothing that crazy. Now, let's place, make a little T bar here. Plant, plant your back foot like a T angle so that now we want the arch to line up with the heel. So let's let's fix that a little bit. Knee goes above the ankle, pressing towards the pinky toe and the back hip wants to go back. So here you can keep your hands down um, to your, in your hip if you want. Or just inhale tall through the crown of your head and exhale. I'm just gonna rest my arm right on my leg and Pressing it back at the same time while it's here. My other hand's touching my back hip. Try to open that a little bit. Just opening the hip nicely, only if it wants to go. And if you want, we can do a nice extended side angle while we're here. Inhale your arm up and over. Or exhale the bottom hand down, straighten the upper leg for a nice little extended side angle. So your gaze can be straight. You can be looking at your fingertip. Maybe you're looking at your toes where your neck is comfortable. Press in your front foot. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, drop the arm. Other side, so let's lift our toe. Toes forward, switch the other way. Now just lined up your heel with the middle of your foot. Maybe extend your stand a little bit. I see a lot of small stand. It makes it so much more difficult on yourself. Make it easy when it's easy. 
the part that are make it easier when there's little thing you can do to make that happen so you can concentrate on other things. So let's exhale the knee to be above the ankle here. And let's just look. I'm putting my hand right on my hip. No fuss. My back hip is pushed back a little bit here as I am opening my knee towards the back. Now you can look at it. Just inhale tall, proud, proud warrior. Exhale, just rest your arm right on your lap. It's right there. You've got your knee above your ankle. You're all set. It's solid. My other hand's going on my hip and I'm going to make sure it's open. So my arm's opening my leg. I'm opening my back hip. I'm looking up now. I'm going to also open my shoulder a little bit. Now all that's feeling nice. I can feel a little tension, but there's no pain, no soreness, or I would come right out of it. I don't do things that hurt, and I don't want you to either. So you can stay just like that. Or maybe add the top end, a little, a little side angle here. My back hip just opened up a little bit more. So you take the back thigh and you upper rotate it, pulling it out as you move the hip. Now, exhale the bottom arm down if you want to add a little bit to it. If you find yourself collapsing in, if you're doing the extended side angle with your arm stretch, just come up a little bit and straighten your body a little more. And exhale, press in your foot, inhale your chest up, release the knee, toes forward, keep your legs open, bend the knee a little bit. I'm going to bend mine quite a bit here. Be comfy. Big inhale up, exhale, send your bum back a little bit. Now look at the floor, you can always use a block here. I'm going to plant one hand down and I'm going to look at one of my foot. I'm going to even place my hand on that foot and I'm going to come up my leg with it. And I'm going to bring my hand up as much as it does not come close to any pain to me. So just a little bit more, and exhale, soften, just relax, inhale, press into that end a little bit, see if you, it wants to go up a little bit more, maybe go on your hip, you can always slide it back down, keep your hands down, and if you want, you may want to bring the hand straight up, and press on your bottom end, neck is relaxed, keep a bend in the knees, Exhale, gently the hand down and replace. So just grab your ankle at first. Make sure you got the ground with your other hand. And inhale your fingertip up a little bit. Exhale, soften, get a little heavier with your body towards the ground. Inhaling the hand a little bit higher. Exhaling, softening. And bring wherever variation that works for you, pick it, and it doesn't have to be the same that you did on the other side. And exhale the hand down, bend the knees very slowly, starting at the base of the spine. Start lifting, pressing in your feet and engaging your legs towards each other. Back is round. Round, round, shoulder blade tips, shoulders, neck, and your head last. A little shoulder roll if it feels good to you. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, toe. Now, big inhale up, exhale to one side. Inhale up, and I'm going to put my feet in traditional Tadasana. So exhale, when you go to the side, inhale up. And you can have your ankle under your hips, use your own breath. Or challenge yourself for a little balance and go in a traditional Tadasana. Now I'm going to add a micro twist to this. I'm just going to turn, I'm starting at the base of my spine, I'm turning my spine up. And then with adding a little, a little, 
with a little twist and a band. It's just very small, almost like a dance. So just breathe, dear. You can inhale, center, exhale to the side. Or just remember to breathe, really. Just remember to breathe. Your hands can be on your hip, right? Okay, and center. Let's go to the start of our mat. Big inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Arms are dangling, bend your knees. And I'm gonna bring my chest right to my thighs and grab the back of my legs and then just go on my tiptoe, inhaling my chest up and then catching my, the ground before I fall. <laughs> And you're right there, you're right, right there next to the mat. So don't be afraid if you fall on your, your fanny, you're right there. So catch the ground, your neck is very relaxed here. You can squeeze your leg into a little ball. Sit down if you want. And let's roll. So a little roll, rolling motion. Careful your neck, I'm keeping my neck up. I don't want it to touch my mat. And this feels so nice anyway. <laughs> and if it doesn't feel good, we don't do it. So it's not because it feels not nice to my body that it's going to feel nice to yours. There we go. You can do a little circle on your mat like that. It's fun. And come back seated. Scoot your fanny towards your ankle. Bring your feet hip distance apart and shift yourself forward. So you're sitting down, bring your chest towards your knee and counterbalance with your arm. Inhale and push your, your bum up the, off the ground. Use a chair if you need to get back up. Press in your feet, engage your leg towards each other. Inhale, stand back up or any way you need to. Inhale, arm up, exhale, forward fold, catch the ground, inhale, one foot back, exhale, the knee down, untuck the toes, and start bringing your hands towards your hip, lifting the toes up. Just relax the upper body here, we're not there long. And back up. Inhale, catch the ground, lift the back knee. Exhale, bring the foot forward. Inhale, other legs down. You can exhale the knee down if you want, and top the toe. And let's bring our hands in. Exhale them back a little bit, letting the toes come up. Neck is relaxed, your back is rounded. Feel that right on the back bottom. Inhale, back up. Catch the ground, tuck the toes. Lift the back knee. Big inhale, press in your hand. Exhale, bring your foot back, down dog. Inhale, one foot up. The other one. Inhale, one foot up, bend the knee. Exhale, knee to nose, drop the leg down. Slide your other foot back and drop the knee for pigeon. And here, feel free to put a block right under your hip or a pillow, or skip that all together. Neck is very relaxed. So you can stay just like that. If you want to come down a little bit, it's not always recommended to do that part often, but once in a while, but I'm very putting my weight in my hand, I don't want all my weight into my lap right now. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bend, flex the back foot and bring it towards your tush. Inhale, tall through the crown of your head, press in your hand. Exhale, the back foot back down, tuck the toe, back toes. Press in your hand, lift your hips. Inhale, your foot back, down, down. Just breathe here. Maybe you want to walk your dog a little. Inhale the other foot up. Bend the knee. Exhale. Knee to nose. Drop the leg. Drop the knee. Back knee down. Untuck the toes. Press in your hand for pigeon.
yoga gym, you can stay just like that, squaring up your hips with the ground. Or you can exhale and lower a little bit down. Try not to collapse your body weight into your leg. Inhale, pressing back up. Exhale, relax, drop down a little bit. Inhale, tuck the toe. Exhale, bring the heel towards your bum. You don't need to reach, but if you want to grab the foot, feel free, of course. And let's exhale that down. Inhale, lift the back knee. And exhale, bump back up in down dog. And let's start walking really, really slow to the middle of our mat. And we're going to just stay right there in the middle. And now bring our hands towards our feet. Exhale yourself back down. And take a country seat. So I'm going to straighten one leg here, the other one I'm going to keep it folded. Let's bring our toes up a little bit. Now I'm going to square off with my head, with my hips first. So keep your head straight and just move your hip towards the leg that's elongate. And then continue with the rest of your spine and then your head. Now exhale, bring the, the bent knee down. As you look towards your belly button, rounding the spine and inhaling your hands forward. They can be on the leg, on the floor. Elbows are heavy towards the ground. Neck is relaxed. Maybe a little motion in the neck, you know. Inhaling, come forward a little bit. Exhale, just soften here. Inhale. And exhale. And on your next inhale, just press the ground and your hands coming back towards you. And let's go on the other side. So let's fold this leg. And extend the one that was folded. Just reverse that. Again, maybe, un maybe un un unpack the luggage a little bit. Make room here for your sit bone. The bended knee stays down. Hey, chin, chin, you lift down, dog. You want to do dancer? Come on. Do dancer. No, we don't do dancer. That's okay. Inhale up. Exhale. Look towards your belly button. Inhale, your fingers up forward. Softening with your exhale. Adding a little length with your inhale. And press in your hands, come back. Now let's open both legs, you know, as wide as you wish. Bend in the knee always as much as you want. Now make sure your back's fairly straight. So if that means maybe um, bringing your legs, bending your knees a little more, bringing your legs more towards each other, do whatever you need to modify so your back is straight. So just adjust yourself. Inhale, fingertip up, exhale, forward fold, rounded first. Inhale, fingertip forward, exhale down. Keep your hands in the middle. And then take the other hand. And then inhaling, opening towards the foot, maybe past the foot a little bit. Exhale, back in center. Inhale, other arm, other hand lift from the floor. And just go towards the foot. Maybe it stays there. Maybe it goes a little bit to the side. Inhale, back center. And exhale. Come back a little bit towards you. And inhale all the way up. Bring your knees. Bend your knees. Bring your, bring your heels towards your bum. And give your knee a good hug here. Play with your neck a little bit. Make sure that stays relaxed. Right? And let's go on our back. So 
go very gently. I'm going to keep my heel a little away from my bum here for a little balance. And I'm going to hold my legs so I don't just crash into the mat. So I'm rounding the back of my spine one little vertebrate at a time. And as elegant as I can, gracefully coming to the ground. And if it collapses there, that's okay. You're there, right? Wow. So let's bring one ankle on top of one thigh and exhale the foot, the bottom foot, a little closer to your bum. Inhale, make sure that your elbows are and your shoulders are away from your ear. You have room for your head. And on your exhale, just stretch your hands around your leg for reverse pigeon. And reverse pigeon is much better for your hips because you're not crushing it with your body weight. So if uh, you, you need to do your pigeon, uh, the, reverse, the reverse ones are a little kinder on the hips. So neck is relaxed as always. So look side to side. You can inhale, relax, exhale, bring the leg a little closer to you. My arms inhaling, pressing into my thigh, just opening my hip gently. And then, maybe it's a little too much, just relax that a little bit, right? Big inhale, if possible, we breathe through the nose, but at this time of the year, wherever, however you can, plant the foot down, other foot goes down, and let's reverse that. And if you have a problem bringing your ankle above your thigh, just lower your other foot first. And then exhale, lifting the foot from the ground. Bring your arms, your hands around the thigh. Inhaling, pressing the arm into the thigh, gently. Exhaling, bringing the away leg closer to you. Quick check on the neck, make sure it's relaxed. You can do no motion. And exhale the foot down. Bring your feet all the way down. Just extend through your heel. Inhale, fingers and overhead. And just press on one heel and the same side and reach. Exhale, relax all that. Other side. Inhale, press one heel and the same side and, and reach. Both extremity and exhale, relax all that. One more time. Inhale, one side, reach through your ill fingertip, and exhale. Other side, last time. Inhale, exhale, soften. Inhale, bring your fingertip away from you, shoulder away from you, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lift your your shoulders and your head off the ground for wind relieving pose and yeah that's what it's for so squeeze 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 if you get extra well good for you i hope you feel good too that's what it's for and i'm rocking my back just a little bit i don't know if you can see i'm rocking my back just a little bit because it feels good exhale drop the shoulder the head down but keep your grip going and inhale, release the feet down, legs go along the floor, adjust your clothes here. If you need to turn down your music, get your little uh, eye pillow, blanket, anything you need. And let's get in Shavasana, just laying down there. Legs apart a little, hands apart a little. Inhaling, if possible, through the nose and exhaling through the nose, bringing the chin down a little closer to our chest, then turning our heads a little bit side to side, make sure that not just think the last little bit of it. Inhaling the fingertip towards your heel, exhaling your shoulder down, your arm down. And one big inhale through the nose. And one long, slow exhale through the nose. 
email everything positive you've learned today or you felt good or you you feel good for yourself you did email everything good and exhale tension stress as as you're doing so just relax the body let it pretend it's sinking half a inch down into like beach sand warm nice wet beach sand and you're sinking down just a little bit inhaling exhaling now let's bring our attention to our toes without judging them or trying to figure out anything just thank your toes, your feet for today's help. Check with them, see if they're okay. Just take in the information, but without without judgment, without anything more than, oh, okay, this is how my feet feel, acknowledging it, and let's move to our legs. How are your legs feeling right now? Relax your legs with each exhale. Your feet, your legs are relaxed. How are your fingers and your hands doing right now? Inhale everything good. And exhaling, softening the body, your arms come down right into the soft sand. Your arms, your shoulders, how's your shoulder, your neck doing right now? Your entire body is relaxed, relax, relax, relax. On each exhale, softening deeper. Gently start moving your toes, your fingertip, or wrist, bringing our feet flat down in the ground, bending the knees. A little hug, bringing the knees to the chest, moving gently side to side. If your eyes are closed, you can keep them closed for the remaining of the class. Or maybe open them a little bit, your choice. And if it is comfortable for you, turn into your right side for a couple breaths, just as not to get up too fast. And if your head spin as you sit down, just come back down, that's all. Now press the ground with your head. And inhale yourself back to a seated position. And give yourself a moment here just to be, just to exist. And first, thank you for watching. Thank you for practicing yoga with me. Thank you so much. And I hope that this was useful. Just take your time and everything you do, your entire life, if done with care, is yoga. Be mindful about your life. Think before you move. Don't swing and flunk anything. And especially remember to breathe. 
and your life is yoga. Namaste.